And by the way, for those who want to have a JPEG copy, a scanned JPEG copy of our top 40 pigments, you can put your email at the comment box and I will be sending you a scanned copy of our pigments. So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is very special because I have patiently gathered all the top 40 pigments by handprint.com and we are going to be swatching each pigment one by one today. This episode is going to be very useful to all those artists who are building their palette and choosing their own colors. And this is going to be more useful to those who would like to build a single pigment palette and of course to those who are very OC and <laughs> focused on the light fastness ratings. Just like me. Handprint.com, for those who might not know, is the most comprehensive and detailed watercolor reference online. I believe each one of us have at least visited the site once for research. It is actually a personal website by Bruce McEvoy where in a portion he shares his researches, experiments, results, and ideas all related to paints and pigments. This is a very technical and detailed reference so there's no wonder lots of known watercolor users like Jane Blundell and Yochi of Parker Blocks use and recommend handprint.com. According to Bruce, his recommendation of the top 40 pigments is based on which are the most important within their hue category and the most reliable and desirable in terms of pigment manufacturing quality and paint light fastness, color mixing, and handling attributes. Please take note that 95% of what I'm gonna be sharing and saying here are Bruce's ideas and words from the website which I will be linking on the description box. At the top of the page, you will find a tab of colors. And clicking each color tab shows the different pigments under its class. You can find the top 40 pigments in each section by just going through his listing or you can just easily continue watching this watching video. For this swatch sheet, I am using Arches 185 cotton paper, cold pressed. I have chosen the pigments based on Bruce's recommendation and based on which are available in my personal collection. So now I think we are ready to start. The first group of colors in our selection is magenta. Under magenta, the first color is pigment violet 19 which has two variants. The first variant is the clinacridone rose or gamma clinacridone. It is a light fast, semi-transparent staining, moderately dark valued, intense, deep red to violet red pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness as excellent but hand prints say it's very good or number one category and can vary depending on supplier. Under Gamma Quinacridone are two hues. First one is Rose which mixes very bright warm colors and violets and is valuable as a primary magenta in a limited palette. Windsor and Newton Permanent Rose stands out as the most saturated, strongest tinting and one of the warmest among those rose paints available. Number two is red. This is warmer and darker than the rose shade. There are fewer paints available in this hue but because this is warmer than the rose hue, it is an interesting choice as a cool red in a limited or split primary palette. M. Graham Quinacridone Rose is the most intense and strongest mixing of the red shades according to handprint. Gamma PV19 is great for florals and with raw sienna and cobalt blue in mixtures for flesh tones. Variant number 2 is Quinacridone Violet or Beta Quinacridone. It is a very light fast, semi-transparent, heavily staining, very dark valued, moderately intense violet red pigment that shifts towards blue in undertone. Bruises and nearly all manufacturers and independent tests indicate it has excellent or number one light fastness. The dark shade of PV19 is fairly consistent across paint brands and most paints that contain it are also active in wet applications. Second color under magenta is Quinacridone Magenta, PR122, which is a light fast, semi-transparent, staining, 
dark valued, intense violet red pigment. The ASTM rates the light fastness of PR122 as fair or number 3 but Prus's light fastness test reveals very little or no color degradation after 800 plus hours of direct sunlight exposure. This puts the pigment solidly in the excellent or number one category. It has a marvelous mixing range producing the brightest possible mixed violets and interesting transparent botanical browns. Next group of colors is red. First color is cadmium red PR108 which is a very light fast, opaque, staining, moderately dark valued, very intense color that leads to the warm or orange side. Genuine cadmium has always been one of the most expensive artist's pigments and M-Gram, Mimary Blue or Rembrandt are some of the best choices here for color appearance and light fastness along with Winsor Newtons and Daniel Smiths. Cadmium sulfoselenide may be toxic if inhaled or swallowed and cadmium lithophone is less dangerous though as a matter of record, toxic effects of cadmium almost never occur. Both the ASTM and handprint slide fastness test resulted to excellent or number one rating. Next color is perylene maroon or PR179 is a light fast transparent, highly staining, very dark valued, moderately intense deep red pigment. Both the ASTM and handprint slide fastness test resulted to excellent. In watercolors, PR179 undergoes a very large drying shift, so take note of it. Next color is quinacridone red. PR209 is a light fast, transparent, staining, moderately dark valued, very intense red pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness as very good or number 2 while handprints tests resulted excellent or number 1 rating. The paint shows a bluish cast and undertone which is very useful for portrait work and it makes bright flexible mixtures across both the warm and cool sides of the color wheel which the pyrroles and cadmiums cannot do. Next color is pyrrole red PR254. It is a very light fast, semi-opaque, highly staining, dark valued, very intense red pigment. Industry and handprint tests assign it an excellent rating. PR254 is popular with paint manufacturers as the primary replacement for less light fast middle red pigments such as naphthol reds. Orange. First color is cadmium orange PO20. It is a very light fast, semi-opaque, heavily staining, moderately light valued, very intense yellow orange, orange and red orange pigment. The ASTM rating is excellent along with most manufacturers and handprint. Painters who want to create vivid warm orange mixtures often choose it for their palettes as oranges mixed from a red and a middle yellow paint are usually dull in comparison. Second color in orange is Pyrrole Orange PO73. It is a very light fast, semi-transparent, heavily staining, moderately dark valued, very intense red orange pigment. It is excellent or number one in light fastness based on handprints tests. Purely on its own, this makes a very versatile and reliable paint worth trying for florals and other brilliant subjects. Yellow. The first two colors are the cadmium yellows. The reddish PY37 made of pure cadmium sulfide and the greenish PY35 compounded with zinc sulfide. These are semi-opaque, staining, very light valued, intense green yellow and yellow to light valued intense orange yellow and yellow orange pigments. The ASTM rates the light fastness of PY35 and PY37 as excellent and most independent tests agree. In handprints test, he encountered an extreme blackish darkening in some hues from some manufacturers which appeared within a few weeks of sunlight exposure. He suspects that this is due to impurities. Some paint manufacturers and regulatory agencies impose a health warning on these paints as it contains a poisonous metal cadmium. Cadmium paints may be toxic if swallowed or inhaled. Cadmium lithophone is less dangerous though no records yet prove that the use of cadmium paints is toxic.
Next is a Soindolinone Yellow or PY110. It is a light, fast, transparent, moderately staining, light-valued, intense yellow-orange pigment. The ASTM rates is excellent light fastness and manufacturer and industry tests agree. PY110 is a beautiful warm yellow with a hue between Hansa Yellow Deep and Benzimida Orange. Copper Azomethine Green or PY129 is a light fast, semi-transparent, staining, mid-valued, moderately dull yellow to green yellow pigment. Manufacturer tests rate it as having very good to excellent light fastness and handprints test agree. Copper azomethine has a high tinting strength in mixtures. Next is nickel azomethine yellow or PY150, which is a very light fast, transparent, moderately staining, non-granulating, moderately light valued, moderately intense orange yellow pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness as excellent and handprint and manufacturer's tests agree. PY150 is a superb botanical yellow. Applied in full strength, it is a yellow just on the border of brown and makes a beautiful series of vegetable yellows, oranges, and reds when mixed with a dull red or dark violet paints. Next is Nickel Dioxine Yellow or PY153, which is a very light fast, semi-transparent, Lightly staining, non-granulating, light-valued, intense orange-yellow pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness as very good or number 2, but both manufacturer and handprints tests rate it as excellent. Though typically not as strongly tinting or textural in mixture as cadmium yellow deep, its transparency, versatility, and hue shifts makes it one of the most evocative and effective yellow pigments you will find. Last in the yellow line is the Benzimida Zolone Yellow or PY154 which is a very light fast, semi-transparent, staining, very light valued, intense yellow pigment. The ASTM manufacturer and handprints tests rate its light fastness as excellent. Benzimida Zolones produce crisp and vivid mixtures of the phthalo blues and greens, well worth trying out as a basic yellow paint. Greens. The first under green is phthalo cyanine green PG7 blue shade. It is a very light fast, transparent, heavily staining, dark valued, moderately dull blue green pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness as excellent and all manufacturer and independent tests agree. Both Thalo Greens PG7 and PG36 are notable for their intense tinting strength and strong tendency to stain paper and even your skin. Nearly all convenience greens like Hooker's Green and Sap Green are from mixtures using PG7 and PG36. Thalo Cyanine Green Yellow Shade PG36 is a light fast, transparent, staining, dark valued, moderately intense green pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent and hand prints tests agree though the paint seems marginally less light fast than Thalo Green Blue Shade or PG7 so most artists seem to prefer PG7 for its darker value, blacker neutrals, bluer hue, higher tinting strength and better light fastness. Next is Chromium Oxide Green PG17 which is a very light fast, very opaque, heavily staining, dark valued, very dull yellow green pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent and it is perhaps the most durable green pigment known because of its durability and high reflectance and near infrared range which mimics the infrared reflectance of green plants it has been the principal pigment in military camouflage paint. Next is PG18 or Viridian which is a very Light fast, transparent, moderately staining, moderately dark valued, moderately dull blue green pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent, and all manufacturers and independent tests agree. For landscape works, Viridian has many good points, though it is a pigment that requires experience to use effectively. 
Next is Cobalt Titanate Green PG50, which is a very light, fast, semi opaque, moderately staining, mid valued, moderately intense green blue to moderately dark, moderately dull blue green or green pigment. All manufacturer tests, including handprints, show that PG50 has excellent light fastness. The major hue categories are the following First, turquoise or teal. This is the pure form of cobalt titanium oxide without other metals in the crystal, but the lightness and chroma varies with the proportion of titanium. So the Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton paints are excellent and nearly indistinguishable. Bluish green. Currently, Windsor and Newton cobalt green is the only commercial source for this shade of PG50. It has a hue and saturation very similar to Viridian or PG18 but with a powdery texture similar to a cobalt blue and a slightly lighter value. Yellowish green. All the remaining paints are the yellow shade of cobalt titanate though they vary in tonal value and saturation. The PG50 green pigments are relatively flat and pastel, often granulating and yet have a subtle and unique color quality. Blues. The first under blues is the Thalo Cyanine Blue PB15. In its various shades, PB15 is to 1 and PB15 is to 6 for reddish shades and PB15 is to 3 for greenish shade. PB15 is a light fast, transparent, highly staining, very dark valued, moderately intense blue pigment. The ASTM rates the light fastness in watercolors of PB15 as very good, though it has excellent light fastness rating in manufacturers and hand paints tests. It mixes well with other paints, though it can be blotchy on highly sized paper and unforgiving when used on absorbent paper. Next is Thalo Cyanine Turquoise PB16, which is a light fast, semi transparent, heavily staining, moderately dark to very dark valued moderately dull green blue pigment pb16 undergoes a very large drying shift lightening by 20 percent and losing almost 30 percent of saturation the hue is readily mixed from a good thalo green blue shade and thalo blue green shade or by cobalt teal blue for the green paint which gives a lighter valued and satin textured color next is prussian blue pb27 it is a fugitive to very light fast, semi-transparent, staining, very dark valued, moderately dull blue pigment. Valued for its high tinting strength and pure blue hue, PB27 was hugely popular from the 18th to the 20th centuries until displaced in the 1970s by Taylor Blue. The ASTM rates the light fastness of PB27 in watercolors as excellent, but handprints light fastness tests showed that this pigment is unusually variable both within and across brands. Next is Cobalt Blue PB28, which is a very light fast, semi-transparent, moderately staining, dark valued, moderately intense, blue pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent and all manufacturers and independent tests agree. It is one of the most expensive pigments, that is why it is sometimes replaced by ultramarine or thalo blue which have very different textural and handling characteristics. Ultramarine blue PB29 is a very light fast, semi-transparent, staining, very dark valued, intense violet blue pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent. Ultramarine blue is probably included in artists' palette more often than any other blue. If ultramarine is the only blue you use, then one of the middle shades, particularly by Windsor & Newton, Daniel Smith, or Utrecht may be a more effective choice. Next is Cobalt Teen Oxide PB35 or Cerulean Blue is a very light fast, semi-opaque, moderately staining, granulating, dark valued, moderately dull to moderately intense blue pigments. The ASTM and handprints light fastness tests prove it's excellent. The tinting strength of cerulean blue is weak so it is easier to handle 
than the stronger pigments like PB15. Cerulean Blue is an excellent palette complement to Ultramarine Blue. Next is Cobalt Chromium Oxide or PB36, Cerulean Blue Chromium, Cerulean Blue Green Shade, Cobalt Turquoise or Cobalt Green Deep as they call from other brands. This is a very light fast, semi-opaque, moderately staining, granulating, dark valued, moderately dull to moderately intense blue to green blue pigments. The ASTM and Handprints Light Fastness Test prove it's excellent. Another shade of PB36 is the Turquoise Blue. This is commonly a rather dull shade of dark green blue. Taylor Turquoise PB16 is darker but more saturated. The color of PB36 brightens in tints, however, so be sure you have evaluated these paints across the complete value range from full strength to tints. The Cobalt Cerulean and Turquoise pigments are a definite preference among some artists who rely on them to temper warm mixtures and create subtly textured pale blue washes. Last in the blue section is the Indentone Blue PB60. It is a light fast to very light fast, semi-opaque, heavily staining, very dark valued, dull blue violet pigment. Handprints rating is excellent. PB60 mixes well muted violets or maroons with quinacridone carmine and is an effective portrait or figure shadow color in tints but its darks and shadows can appear grayish or obtrusive. Violets First under violets is Cobalt Violet PV14, which is a very light fast, semi-transparent, non-staining, moderately dark valued, moderately dull violet to red violet pigment. The ASTM and hand print rate its light fastness as excellent. PV14 is one of the most expensive pigments and is often imitated using less expensive pigments, especially in student grade paints. Although some artists say this is gummy and weak, genuine high quality cobalt violet is a stunning paint in expansive wash applications like in skies and florals. Next is Ultramarine Violet PV15. It is a very light fast, semi-transparent, moderately staining, dark valued, moderately dull violet to very dark valued, moderately intense blue violet pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent but hand prints result found some brands widen slightly with a very small resulting color change after a month of full sun exposure. Next is Manganese Violet PV16 which is a very light fast, semi-transparent, lightly staining, dark valued, moderately dull red violet pigment. The ASTM rates its light fastness in watercolors as excellent and hand paint tests agree, so PV15 is the most light fast balanced purple pigment available in watercolors. It's good in floral paintings both as a muted floral color and to add texture and body to browns mixed with deep yellow or orange paints. Last under violet is Dioxazine Violet PV23 which is a light fast to impermanent semi-transparent heavily staining, very dark valued, dull violet pigment. Manufacturer and hand prints light fastness tests indicate the oxygen violet actually has better light fastness than reported by the ASTM, easily reaching very good light fastness in the best brands. PV23 produces highly variable light fastness tests results that depend on its source and the processes it underwent. Earth. The first color under Earth is PBR7 or Natural Iron Oxides. The many shades of PBR7 pigments have been rated with excellent light fastness by the ASTM and all manufacturer tests agree. PBR7 has four shades available. The first one is Raw Sienna. Traditionally a mid-valued, moderately dull earth yellow, slightly granulating, non-staining and semi-opaque to semi-transparent pigment. This earth color varies substantially across manufacturers 
and some paints are a pale yellow trivially different from yellow ochre or py43 while others are a grayish brown next is burnt sienna a dark valued moderately dull earth orange lightly staining and semi-opaque to semi-transparent pigment this is one of the most versatile and useful paints and an excellent mixing complement for blues from ultramarine blue to cerulean blue for grays and a great partner with blue green and green pigments for mixing natural dull yellow greens next is raw umber the best version is a transparent dark valued grayish or greenish earth brown close to the hue of yellow ochre the raw umbers by daniel smith m graham Roni artists and utrecht all meet this expectation last under pbr7 is burnt umber the darkest of the four earths a very dull earth brown staining and semi-opaque with a color resembling dark chocolate daniel smith burnt umber is an almost black coffee brown that runs an enticing span of colors as it is diluted in tints next is synthetic red iron oxide pr101 it is a very light fast opaque to transparent staining dark valued to very dark valued moderately dull to dull earth orange earth red or brown pigment the astm has rated the light fastness of all shades of pr101 as excellent or number one and all manufacturer and hand prints tests agree pr101 are marketed in a few standard colored categories and here are the following number one is venetian red a reliable dark dull orange red moderately to very opaque and formerly made with natural iron oxide color the hue of this paint is extremely consistent across manufacturers nearly all the color variations are limited to the value chroma and opacity next is indian red it is a slightly duller and more violet version of the red iron oxide and it's also very opaque in good paints the hue takes on a purplish cast on the road to mars violet this shade of pr101 sometimes called caput mortum is my personal favorite and would not miss it on any of my palettes next is transparent red a slightly darker valued and more intense color with an appearance close to a burnt scarlet a few brands of burnt sienna including rowney artists and winsor newton are also made with a transparent red iron oxide next is transparent brown a dark valued brown close to many burnt umbers again the actual transparency of this pigment depends on the brand and some paints are also semi-opaque i personally love mixing pr101 with ultramarine for muted purples and dark grays next is quinacridone orange po48 it is a light fast transparent staining moderately dark valued moderately intense earth orange pigment the ASTM rates its light fastness as very good or number two. However, manufacturers and hand prints tests rate it excellent or number one. Initially, Daniel Smith was the only source for this pigment in watercolors, but now several brands like Da Vinci, M. Graham, and Winsor & Newton include it as a single pigment paint. Quinacridone Maroon PR206 is a light fast, semi-transparent, moderately staining, dark valued moderately intense earth red pigment the astm rates its light fastness as very good or number two but hand paints tests show excellent or number one pr206 is a great color for botanicals portraits and even landscapes it is a versatile neutralizing complement to a wide range of blue and blue green pigments from iron blue to viridian last in the earth section is the synthetic yellow iron oxide py42 it is a very light fast opaque staining light valued to moderately dark valued moderately intense to dull earth yellow pigment rated as excellent in light fastness by astm and paint manufacturers 
In Handprint's 1998 light fastness rating tests, several brands of synthetic yellow iron oxide turned slightly dark or gray in mass tone. The last group is the black, gray, and white. First color is bone or ivory black PBK9. Like the other carbon blacks, it is very light fast, semi-transparent, staining, slightly textured, and active in wet applications. The ASTM and handprints tests rate its light fastness as excellent. Many artists prefer ivory black because it harmonizes better with other watercolor pigments. But personally, I prefer Lunar Black PBK31 for its granulation. Next, we have Perilin Black PBK31, which is a very light fast, semi-transparent, staining, very dark valued, dark shade pigment. Handprints light fastness tests put it in the excellent category with slight fading in the tint after 800 hours of sunlight exposure. It is very effective for darkening all foliage greens and as a shadow color for botanicals and landscapes. In very diluted glazes, it's also good as a shadow tint for portraits and figure paintings. Last color in our list is Titanium White PW6 or Titanium Dioxide. It is a very light fast, semi-opaque, lightly staining white pigment. The ASTM and all manufacturers rate its light fastness in watercolors as excellent. White pigment watercolors show almost no drying shift, although they become much less opaque as they dry. PW6 are moderately active in wet applications, which usually also means they will mix well with other pigments. So now we are finally done with the swatches of our top 40 pigments by handprint.com and this is so satisfying to do. I'm so happy because you know I have researched and I have gathered so many paints just to uh, fulfill this um, goal today and um, I'm pretty happy with the selection. I really think this uh, top 40 pigments are really strong. If you choose um, several from this for your palette and um, what do you think about the 40 colors selected um, I'm happy but I think I will be happier if there is PBK 11 which is a uh, uh, granulating black and also PY 43 which is also missing here but I think um, PY 42 or PBR 7 Roshanna can replace PY 43 so uh, he did not include it anymore and um, as you can see, there are 51 colors and the reason why uh, there are 51 is because some of the pigments have three representatives. For example, the PV19 has three hues. The Cerulean PB36 has two representatives and as well as the PBR7 has four. PR101 has four also. So we have 51 swatches from the top 40 pigments. So let me know if you have any comments, ideas about the top 40 pigments. What do you think should be added here? What do you think should be removed if there's any? Let me know in the comment section and let's discuss. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from today and I hope you can also share this to those you know, artists who are looking for colors or pigments, especially those who are building their palettes as of the moment. So again, thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to support this channel. Please don't forget to like and share this video. And again, see you next week.